Welcome back to Card80s.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is Logic 301. In this video, we're going to be looking at X versus X in curly brackets. Now, before continuing this distinction that we really need to make clear, there is a difference between G equals bracket E and H equals bracket bracket E. Or in other words, the set G has one member, and that member is E, and the set H has one member, and that is the set of E. This is why we would say that E is a member of G, but not a member of H. In set theory, you cannot collapse multiple sets of brackets. Take E equals the set A comma b, and k equals the set of a, b. Note that e has two elements, a and b, while k only has one element, which is e, because e is identical to the set of a and b. So k has one element, namely e. e has two elements, a and b, so they can't be the same. And we'll have a more formal definition of that later, but for now, the basic idea is that you can't collapse down brackets. Those brackets need to stay. This may seem counterintuitive, but it's comparable to the difference between using a name to refer to its reference and using a name to refer to that word. We might debate whether Pluto, the rock out in space, is a planet, but no one would claim that, in single quotes, Pluto, the five-letter word used to describe that rock, is a planet. Similarly, the set of things which includes as its only member the singer Akon is different than the singer Akon. The set which includes only Akon isn't just Akon. It is a set. It is a mathematical object. In the same way that Pluto, in single quotes, is a word, not a planet. With Akon... The set of Akon is an abstract logical object. Akon is a singer. Up next, what is a subset? Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for 30 days here in the month of October. And stay skeptical, everybody.